Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a binder for your filled up traveler's notebook signatures. For me, I just finished one of my magic signatures or like shadow work signatures. So I need to have a magical uh, binder to put them in. And I have this, which is a vintage style photo album that was my great grandmother's and it has an amazing ancestor energy to it. So I would love to store all of my magical signatures in here. So hopefully you can find one of these at the thrift store. I've seen them for really cheap, but generally actually inside of them, they come with a whole bunch of black paper, which is also great stuff to add to your shadow work journals or to your um, like junk journal style grimoires. So they're definitely worth getting, even just for the paper value of them. So let's get started. into two and I found that there's all of this fluffing like wool batting in between these two layers because there's the card stock and then there's a thin leather portion out here so what I think I'm gonna do is deconstruct this leather portion like cut it off at the very edges and then remove all of the batting because I don't really want my journal to be super fat so I'll start doing that
So here's our final book, everybody. It turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So I did a couple things off camera to kind of just put some finishing touches on the book altogether, and I will show those to you now. So first I glued these little corners on. I wanted to tie the black from the spine into the corners a little more to keep it balanced. So did that. And here I made this little elasticated pouch in the front. This was just some leftover lace that I had for my sewing uh, stash. And then I have this, which is the original photo album plate that this book is originally made out of. So I'm excited that I got to salvage that and kind of keep it as a, a memory of what this book used to be. Anyway, and here you can see on the little elastics, this is how I have all the different signatures installed in here. But um, yeah, I've got lots of room to grow in here, so I'm pretty excited. You can see that there's quite a lot of room for it to kind of fill up, you know, and get a little bit fatter. So in the back here, I added some bookmarks. So I could have added these in underneath the spine. So when I was gluing that, uh, that plate that I have all of the elastics on to the spine of the book, I should have encased these ribbons in between that layer. But I forgot to do that. So instead I just glued it on the back. <laughs> and that's gonna work just fine for me. I did try to get these guys, these, uh, thinner ones as close to the spine as possible so that it doesn't tear any of the signatures when I'm actually using them. But um, so this ribbon here was from a graveyard and I didn't feel bad picking it up because I actually work at a cemetery sometimes. So I was cleaning up and I was like, oh, it's a beautiful ribbon. Plus it has the association of death and like rebirth, which is kind of a cool idea. And then here on the charms here, I just have a little pentacle and a star with a little uh, matching charm there. I like the color brown because it matches with the front of the book. And I did choose yellow. I chose yellow for the back and the front here because it kind of matches with the gold accenting there. So yeah, <laughs> that's the book all together. I like how it turned out and I'm excited to put all of my Book of Shadows signatures in here. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you to make some hardbound books out of weird photo albums, weird cardstock, whatever weird items you might have, especially if there's a detail you like, like the design on the front. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.